Yo, what's good, so on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a group teleporter. This video was uh, requested to me by one of my subscribers in, my, in uh, one of the comment sections. They left it, I think it was like, you know, like a few days ago, like at most like a week. It hasn't been that long though. But yeah, I want to give a special shout out to uh, two of my staff members, uh, Krill and, well, Krill is a staff member. Uh, Kiba isn't a staff member, but he's in my Discord server. Shout out to both of them. They help, they help test this because I need other players to test it with me and stuff like that. So shout out to them. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all boys for helping me out with that. But anyway, yeah, uh, this is my first video. I just want to say appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for a thousand subscribers. And I'm officially in the YouTube partner program. It's all thanks to y'all. Honestly, this is the first video. Like, this is the first video I am recording where I am currently at a thousand subscribers. Like the 1000 subscribers special was recorded when I was like at like not er, like 900 to 920. Like I think it's like, like somewhere around there. But anyway, yeah. So, so yeah, I'm gonna make a big announcement video talking about like channel membership, super chat, the stuff I unlocked and changes coming to the channel and stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. So as you can see, I already have made as there, there were some specifics and stuff that I had to kind of figure out and stuff, hence why I need to help from uh, other people to test it and stuff like that. Because I had to like troubleshoot, took me like five, six tries and stuff. So I wasn't even gonna just, well, yeah. So I'd have it made. Pretty much just like this. It's pretty much just this simple, right? You have a box, right? I have a box, right? And um, you know, like in games, you have like an area where like groups of players will go into that area and then it'll start like a countdown of like, I don't know, 10 20 30 seconds when that timer's uh over whoever is currently standing on the part or in the part it'll then teleport those players to another server like you know the, like sometimes it may teleport them to a private server like a server to go do like a quest um like or like a dual system like a one v one system two v two whatever the case may be but stuff like that so pretty much so pretty much that's what this is right and stuff um you could have it to where you want to have like a max required and stuff right but i didn't do a max required like, like a max amount of people you need and stuff which is really simple but yeah anyway let me get straight into it okay so here's the script right teleport the script <clears throat> so pretty much uh it's pretty much i got the teleporter service right made a variable for the teleporter service um made a table tpl uh tps is short for teleport service then tpl is short for the teleport list right and then made a uh, boolean for countdown started pretty much to so I know uh, whether or not the countdown has been enabled or not, right? So pretty much uh, whenever a player hits the part, right? It'll get the player. It'll check if that player, uh, like the player instance itself, is is in inside the table, right? So if, so if already a part of the table, it will just say it will just print players already on the list. Y'all can remove the prints, by the way. This was just for me to just know that, like, what part was working. So I was, when I was trying to figure stuff out, yet you guys don't need to include the prints yourself unless you want to. But anyway, if the player uh, is already in the table, it won't do anything. If the player isn't in the table, it'll add their instance, right? Pretty much like when your player is under, under the player's tab, it'll add that instance into the uh, table, right? And then uh, pretty much it'll check to see if the countdown has started. If it hasn't started, it'll start. The, it'll start the countdown. It'll count down from ten. Um, I'm gonna assume you guys want a longer countdown, so all you want to do is just change this value. This is the starting value, and then this is this is where it ends, and that's the change. Like you know, it decreases by one. And stuff. Then of course you need to wait one because you know you're putting one second intervals. Then you could change this to if i equals one. Like I know some games do it differently. Some games do uh. Whenever the countdown reaches one, some do it when it reaches zero. I just want zero. So pretty much when it reaches zero, um, it's gonna teleport. It's gonna uh, teleport to people. This is my place ID, right? I have a video linked at the end of this video that shows you how to get your place ID. If you don't know how to get it and stuff like that, but you will put your place ID, right? Um, if you just want to test it to make sure the script is like you set up the script correctly, you can use my place ID and stuff. Because if it works, then you just test with your place ID. I mean, you then you just use your place ID. Right. So pretty much if you're wondering what would happen if you tried to teleport just and it's just one player, this will not work. This this is a teleport async and that requires multiple players, plural. So pretty much uh if, if it's only one player, it's gonna get, it's gonna get like an error and stuff. The script will work perfectly fine, but it's just gonna like not teleport the player and stuff. So this requires so this method requires two or more players, hence why it's a multi multiple player teleport.
right? And then this is touch ended, which pretty much means when a player stops touching it, it'll first make it, the player should be a part of the table, but it's always best to ha kind of have like these checks just in case, you know what I mean? So gonna check to see if the player is a part of the table. If the player is in the table, like their instance, then it'll remove it'll remove them by uh what's it called removing obviously getting the table, um and then it'll find their position by doing two number then uh table defined and then table defined will return the position pretty much. And, it's, and yeah, it's that simple. Now obviously uh just a disclaimer, you cannot test this in studio and stuff. You can't test this in studio because teleports do not work. But pretty much to know the way it works is you should see like an error that says uh, something cannot teleport in studio, right? So see player is already is already on list and then it'll count down four, three. You'll see an error. You should see an error like this if, if it's working. Yeah, teleport failed. But see right here it says failed. And then right here, you guys will see you guys will see my name, right? Because cannot cannot teleport in studio, right? I can't teleport in studio. But either way, it would still error because I'm only one player. And stuff, but pretty much, if you're in an actual server and it's you have two or more people, then the teleport will work, right? But yeah, so that's how you make a group teleporter. Uh, group teleporter part, I guess. I hope this video was helpful and stuff to the person who requested it and stuff. Once again, thank you to Krill and Kiva for helping me out and stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you all for the love and support y'all been showing me. Like all I can ask is that just keep just keep liking and subscribing and watching my videos. All I can ask. I already hit a thousand. I just want to keep going. Keep getting bigger and bigger. I appreciate y'all for real and stuff. Yeah. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys.